I don't think I've talked about this in a video. I, um, my wife and I went to Korea this year, and we got to Amsterdam, which is where the whole leg bomb terrorist thing started. I mean, if you if you look through that and look into just the absolute absurdity of what they want us to believe anymore, that this kid had a bomb strapped to his leg because he, and I mean, do some research, because he, he never cleared uh, security in Amsterdam. And I mean, it was, it was a political thing he got put through, is what I've read. But uh, got to Amsterdam, and they had this big, swirling, holy shit machine. Uh, and I said, I'm not going in there. And this woman said, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything to you. I said, I don't believe you. Uh, no, we've done the research. I said, I don't care what your propaganda says. I've done research otherwise, and I'm not going into that thing. I'm not walking into it. I'm opting out. We have to be hand-searched. I said, yeah, I know. I know what happens here. And I've been through uh, a few of those. I, I don't go through them. Uh, I always opt out uh, because I think they do give off layers, levels of radiation that are beyond even diagnostic radiation, and I avoid that as much as I can. But I, you know, I go through and, and people, and I had one guy say, "Oh, uh, but you know how much radiation you get when you fly." And I said, "Yeah, I know that. I know I've known that for years that there's a lot of radiation when you fly, and radiation is cumulative." Now, <laughs> I had to get laughing because I've got all my theories in place. You know, I mean, oh, radiation is bad for you. Oh, radi excess radiation. Da 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 da, and then. One of the astronauts died, um, Neil Armstrong or Buzz Aldrin or one of those guys that, you know, stepped on the moon. Sorry for not getting my facts exactly straight, but I know it was one of those two. I know it was the two that was on. And, you know, the, how much time did they spent getting extra radiation, um, being in space and stuff like that? And this guy was 90-something, I think. It's like, hmm, maybe that theory goes to ratchet. I'm, I'm still not going to go through those excessive ones where they make you stand like that. I don't think there's any need for it. I don't, I'll bet you, I'll bet you none of the terrorists went through it. I'll bet you anybody who is a terrorist will some, find some way through it, but it's not, you know, I mean, it's like, I don't, I don't agree with what they're doing. Uh, everybody's being treated like a criminal in America, and maybe they are all criminals. I don't think so, but uh, my son came through and said, oh, I went through one of those big radiation machines. He said, it felt really weird. I said, why did you go through it? He said, what? I said, why did you go through it? And he was traveling for one of the first times on his own in the States. And he said, what do I do? I said, you opt out. He said, I'm allowed to do that. I said, you're absolutely allowed to do that. And I said, then what they do is illegal. I said, you opt out, and then they illegally search you. They Ill illegally touch you. If you don't want somebody to touch you, they can't touch you. But, um, you know, if you opt out, then they can do illegal things. But I said, next time, just opt out. And I suggest that to everybody. You get excess radiation, find ways to pull it out of your system. There are supplements that pull it out. But um, don't comply. Opt out. Those things do not. They say that there were five women in England who worked around those machines. And in the first five, all of them were pregnant and all of them had miscarriages. So pay attention. Take care of yourself. And maybe you'll live to be 90, even with the radiation. Who the hell knows? www.micpeakperformance.com